Welcome back to Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours, my friends. Today I'm in Silmar, California, which is north of Los Angeles, here to pay my respects to a very great character actor of the 30s, 40s, and 50s who died tragically in a car accident. I am here at Shalom Memorial Cemetery, pay my respects to a man that was on as part of the team of the Bowery Boys. His name is Bernard Gorsi. He was the father of Leo and David Gorsi. I have been to David Gorsi's grave and I'll include photos of that in here. I've also been to Bernard Gorsi's house where he lived, where he left that tragic day and was hit by a bus in, while he was driving in his car and he was killed. So, Bernard Gorsi was one of the great character actors. He played Louis Dombrowski in 44 Bowery Boy films with his sons. And he was a very small man in stature, but a great big actor. And he was of Russian descent. I'm going to tell you all about Mr. Gorsi's life in this video. Includes some photos of the house where he lived at the time in Hollywood and the, his son David Gorsi's grave. I haven't been to Leo Gorsi's grave. He's buried north of Sacramento, California, which is quite a drive. I haven't been up there yet for Leo, but I will in the future. But for now, I'm here to pay my respects to Mr. Bernard Gorsi, who was 69 years old when he passed away in 1955. And basically when he died, the Bowery Boys movies pretty much came to an end. They did a couple after that. Uh, but uh, it was not the same without Louis Dombrowski, the cigar-smoking man that ran the malt shop where all the boys always owed him money for malts and banana splits. So today we're here to see Mr. Bernard Gorsi. So my friends, I want you to stay with me. And I'm going to tell you more about this man, Mr. Bernard Gorsi. Thank you, my friends. Okay, my friends, it took me quite a while to find this grave as it was partially covered with several inches of mud. But through a bit mm -hmm. of perseverance, I located Mr. Gorsi's final resting place and cleaned his headstone up a bit. Now I'll tell you a little bit about his life. Uh, Bernard Gorsi was born on January 9th, 1886, and he was a Russian actor. He was a professional vaudeville actor on Broadway who starred in 72 movies. He is best remembered for playing ice cream shop proprietor Louis Dombrowski in Monogram Pictures' The Bowery Boys series of B-movies. He also did some radio work for The Popeye Show. At 52 years of age, he began working in the movies. From 1940, he appeared in 55 movies with minor roles with both Monogram and Warner Brothers. 44 of these films were with his sons, Leo and David. Between 1946 and 1955, there were between four and five Bowery Boys movies annually. Bernard Ard always had the role of Louis Dombrowski, the owner of a sweet shop where the Bowery Boys would hang out, usually getting free sodas and banana splits while planning their next escapade, much to Dombrowski's displeasure. He also appeared as Charlie Chaplin's meek Jewish neighbor, Mr. Mann, in the film classic The Great Dictator in 1940. On August 31st, 1955, Bernard Gorsi left his house and was involved in a car accident on the corner of 4th and La Brea in Los Angeles when his car ran into the side of a bus. On September 11th, 1955, just two weeks later, he died from his injuries. His death was all but the end of the very successful Bowery Boys film series. Gorsi's character of Louis 
and the hangout of Louis Sweet Shop had become the anchor of the Bowery Boys for a decade. And certainly it would have been sacrilegious to recast the part, particularly because Gorsi's son, Leo Gorsi, Slip Mahoney on the show, was the star and co-producer of the long-running series. Most importantly, Leo idolized his dad. When Bernard passed away, Leo went into a drunken tailspin. This led to his being cast out, a pariah on the set, leaving Hunts Hall to carry on as its main star. The heart was cut out of the series. They only made a few more features, unsuccessfully replacing Leo with Stanley Clements. The Bowery Boys were, as Louis himself might say, kaput. On August 18th, 2019, I visited the gravesite of David Gorsey, who was a member of and co-starred in all of the Bowery Boys movies. He is laid to rest at Los Angeles National Cemetery. He was 63 years old when he died. Leo Gorsi passed away at 51 years of age and is buried at Los Molinos Cemetery in Los Molinos, California. I will visit his grave at some point in the future to pay my respects. I visited the grave of Stanley Clements on August 13, 2018, and he is buried at Riverside National Cemetery in Riverside, California. He passed away at the age of 55. On December 9, 2018, I did visit Hunts Hall's final resting place at All Saints Episcopal Church Columbarium in Pasadena, California, and he passed away at the age of 78. So, my friends, I hope you like this brief look at the Bowery Boys, and, and it brings back some fond memories from your younger days. They were a great group of actors that did their best to entertain, and it was just so sad uh, that Bernard Gorsi passed away that kind of really led to the downfall of the movie series. I'll also show you a couple of pictures from when I went to visit Bernard Gorsi's house, the one that he was living in at the time of his passing. And it is a beautiful two-story house in Hollywood. And I hope you like this video, my friends. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day and watching. By all means, stay safe. And I will be putting out many more videos in the days ahead. Please feel free to share this video with your friends. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And this visit to Mr. Bernard Gorsi's grave has been on my to-do list for quite some time. I wanted to pay my respects to this gentleman that entertained me for so many years. So rest in peace, Mr. Bernard Gorsi. And my friends, if you like the Bowery Boys movie series, please leave a comment down in the comments and let me know what you thought of the various characters of the Bowery Boys. Thank you and adios, amigos.